Hi, my name is Dr. Danny Rosari, and today we're going to be talking about wound packing. Today we're using a clinical response lower from Trauma FX. This has two primary wounds. The first wound is a traumatic amputation of the right leg. Normally you treat that with a tourniquet. The second wound is an inguinal wound, and as you can see, this wound is bleeding profusely. You can't put a tourniquet on this, so the only way you can manage this wound is with direct pressure and ultimately packing. Because I can put direct pressure in the wound to stop the bleeding, but I can't stay here forever. I've got to treat other parts of the casualty. So, today we're going to be using the Elias hemostatic bandage. When you take open this packaging, what you're going to find is you're going to find a bandage that looks like this. It has several unique features. First, it actually has Hemcon dressing or hemostatic dressing. Now that dressing is a special dressing that will interact with the platelets and help cause clot, which will help stop bleeding. There are four steps to packing a wound. The first step is to put pressure on the spot where the bleeding's coming from. Without taking pressure off the wound, take your hemostatic dressing or your gauze and place it in the same spot where you think the bleeding is, always maintaining pressure as best you can. Then you pack the wound with aggressive strength, constantly pushing the material of the dressing as far into the wound as you can. You want to make sure that you fill all of the areas of the wound. With the hemostatic dressing, it's particularly important because this dressing has special chemicals in it that interact with the blood and the platelets. By interacting with the blood and the platelets, it creates clot. And once it's created a good clot, that's important to keep that clot in place with the pressure. So as you can see, I'm aggressively and fully putting pressure and placing this gauze. Now, once it's created a good clot, you move on to step three, which is to cover the wound with gauze. Now, you want to take your pressure cup and put it over the wound. It's obviously easier to do with more than one person, so I'm going to have to release pressure as I do this. But as quickly as I can, I want to reach underneath the patient, trying to keep pressure on the wound. You want to bring this dressing very, very tight. Make sure that the pressure cup is in the right spot and put the dressing completely over the pressure cup. This provides direct pressure on the wound. Once the dressing is in place, you want to secure the dressing in place with these securing clips. The securing clips have two hooks, and these hooks hook nicely into the bandaging area on both sides, which allows the dressing to stay in place. To complete the process, I want to make sure that the bandage is in the right spot, the pressure is in the right spot, and the bleeding is controlled. 